but we're on the undercard fights with Jose Enrique Vivas taking on this man from the Philippines, John Vicente Moralde. And there's a lot at stake for these featherweights here inside the bubble at the MGM Grand. Mark Chinook has the official introductions for this fight at 126 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we return to the action here inside MGM Grand in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing, this is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. This bout is brought to you by Geico and is scheduled for eight rounds in the featherweight division. Our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Glenn Feldman, and Dave Moretti. The man in charge at the sound of the bell, Celestino Ruiz. Introducing first out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 127 pounds, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He brings a record of 23 wins, three losses, 13 of those victories coming by way of knockout from Davao City, Philippines, John Vincent Mulawin Moralde. Across the ring in the red corner, he weighed in at 128 pounds, wearing black trunks with gold and red trim. He brings a record of 19 wins, only one defeat, 10 victories coming by way of knockout. From Texco, Mexico, Jose Enrique, El Ejecutor Vivas! You're a little high here, you're good here. I gave you guys your instruction in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight from start to finish. Protect yourself at all times. Te di lo instrucción en el camerino que no pelea limpia y protege así siempre. Touch up. Good luck to both of you guys. Good luck. It's an honor to be inside the bubble for a fight card like tonight that features a historic main event between Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez. But I'm not alone. The entire crew is here with me. Andre Ward now sitting ringside, ready to call this fight. Mark Kriegel will be reporting for this fight as well. So we're all doing multiple duties because that's what is required on a fight card like tonight. Andre, when we look at Vivas, he's a fighter whose only professional loss came against Ruben Villa. He got dropped early in that fight and lost a unanimous decision against the man who lost a world title shot against Emmanuel Navarrete just days ago. Yeah, Vivas, this is his second fight in the bubble, you know, he pulled a Pick upset up, against up, Carlos up, Jackson. Oh, uh oh. It was when they were holding, and Four, it's a knockdown. Five, six. That was quick. Seven, eight. You okay? You want to continue? Give me a glove. Give me a glove. The body shot to knockdown. Right and even though the referee Celestino Ruiz says, pay attention, it was a legal knockdown. You must protect yourself at all times. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop. Hey, hey. Get your hands up. That was a low blow, according to the referee, Celestino Ruiz. A nice oh. left hook from Vivas and Moraldez hurt. The body shot once again is on the way down, and the fight is over. Quick stoppage in favor of Jose Enrique, the ejecutor Vivas. It means the executioner. Andre, he executed the game plan tonight. He didn't only land big shots to the head and to the body, but he was sharp with it, Bernard. I was, you know, in the process of just talking about how good Vivas is and how he fought his last fight, you know, a few months ago here in the bubble, and he looks even better than he did the last time out. Very sharp, very composed, and very powerful fighter. This is the third time that John Vincent Meralde has been stopped by Javier Martinez, who was undefeated by Tota Con Clary, who was 23-1. and one. The other loss on his record prior to tonight was against current world champion Jamel Herring. So he went the distance with Jamel as tough as nails. And Vivas told us, look, what I saw was lacking from Ruben Villa was that courageousness to want to become a champion. And that taught me that if I can last 12 rounds with him, I think I can hang with Navarrete. Let, let's take a look at how this fight ended, Dre. Let's take a look first at how we went down the first time because it seemed like it was on a break. This is why you never want to fully rest on the inside. You always want to look for a shot, whether it's to the body or the head. That was a short left hook right there, and it just sort of took the legs from Moralde. He gets up, and Vibas did the right thing. He goes right back, 
Hits the same chin that he hit a few seconds earlier. Made him wobble again. Then he goes to the body. That was a, that was a, mm. a brutal left hook to the body right there. And, and Vivas continued to pour on the pressure, and the referee did the right thing. And we see that right hand just composed. Even though he's aggressive, Bernardo, he's composed. He's looking at his target. He's got his hands up after he punches. Just a beautiful, what, round and a half from Vivas? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was as effective as could be. I originally, th I originally thought it was a body shot that got him when they were, I did too. They, when they were together because it was too. a different angle. But at the end of the day, the body shot did, I think, put an end to Moralde because he might have got up from the shot to the chin, but not to the body. All right, we send it to Mark Chinook for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, referee Celestino Ruiz calls a halt to this bout at one minute, 16 seconds of round number one, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Jose Enrique El Ejecutor Vivas! Impressive victory for Jose Enrique Vivas, who improves to 20 and one. And he says, guys, at 126 pounds, remember this name because I'm built to become a world champion.